Uh, I'm gonna rage quit soon. I'm trying to get the Focusrite Scarlet uh, 2i2 or something. I don't remember what the hell it's called. Anyway, so here we have my speakers and then my other headphones. And then for the input, we have nothing. So nothing's installed. I don't have it plugged in. Everything's fine. No power. It's doing exactly what it should be doing. Now, if I install this, which is the driver that comes from their website, yes, I'm just going to do the full installation, so that way it comes with both drivers. Okay, so it's going to install all of its stuff, and it's going to ask me to restart. You can see that the uh, focus right control right here is in the corner, and it's done. So now we can restart the computer. And now from things that I was finding online, it was saying that uh, leave the USB cable unplugged, because if you plug it in, Windows 10 will automatically try to install a default driver, and then that ends up corrupting the install, so... I've uninstalled everything to do with input devices on this computer, so there's absolutely nothing. And I've left it unplugged, so it hasn't automatically installed anything. I've only installed the Focusrite driver right from their website, the newest one, the one specifically for this and everything. So we are logging in, it's all done. Now the Focusrite control should open in a minute. And then we can plug this guy in. No hardware connected. Correct. There's no hardware connected. We have to plug it in. So let's plug it in. Oh look, it connected. Now it's gonna come up. Now it's gonna come up. Oh, what the hell? Now what? Literally just trying to repeat my steps so I can show that it's not working. And now we're getting other issues of it not working. This is the stupidest thing. Okay, let's just see if we can just reopen that. Maybe this was an anomaly. Oh, what the hell now? Okay, we have the notification thing in the corner here. We only have show notification as an option. So something clear, clearly didn't work with, during the install. Open sound settings, we have no input devices, and we only have the speakers, so it definitely didn't install correctly, so I'm gonna try and install it again. This is the stupidest thing. I just wanna record a goddamn voiceover for a video. Whatever happened to just plugging stuff in, it works. This whole ordeal is just like Windows XP all over again. Install the driver. The driver doesn't work. Install the driver again. The driver will work. And then something else goes wrong. Okay, perfect. Let's restart again. I guess I'll keep it plugged in this time, since it's already plugged in. It's uh, it's also just after 4 in the morning. I've been trying to figure this out for the last two hours, and I, I really wish I was joking about that. Oh no, you know what my password sounds like. Focus rate is loaded. Now we have everything that came up. Why is there still no hardware? <laughs> I swear, it, w it came up, and there's a whole other issue that I'm trying to get to. And now we're dealing with this, and I was literally trying to make a video showing this other issue that I can't find a resolution to. And now we can't even get back to the working state where the next issue comes up. I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. Not responding. Excellent. Jesus Christ. Driver 4.63.24, so that is the newest driver. So everything in there is fine. Let's try the old unplug, plug it back in. Oh, I didn't hear the unplug noise. Okay, we got it back in. And nothing. Awesome. Okay, so third time's the charm, so I'm gonna unplug this again. Let's just try and install that right over top, all over again. Third time. Okay, let's restart again. Okay, let's plug it in. Well, this is wonderful. It literally just doesn't work at all. It only says show notification again. Okay, so for whatever reason now, if I have this unplugged, when I install it, it doesn't work at all. So I have to plug it in first and then install it. But if it's plugged in first, it'll install the default driver from Microsoft. So I need to disconnect the internet, plug it in, then install it, restart. Okay, yeah, okay. So I have to uninstall everything and start all over again. Good. Okay, another pain in the ass here is I'm trying to get rid of the little notification here. Focus rate, audio, the little notification guy. You, can, you can't close it and like you can't get rid of it. I've uninstalled everything focus rate and you go to the folder and then like the, the folder's here and I can't delete it because it says that it's in use. So like, uh, focus, right? So I actually have to like end the task on the notifier. End, end the task. Oh my Christ, I swear to God, like, what the hell is wrong with this company? Who makes software like this? Like, what, I can't even... <sighs> Focus, right? 
notifier and task, and it is consistently using 1.3 megabytes of RAM. Like, how do I just completely stop this from running? Like, their software is garbage, and it is clearly glitched out, and I can't even uninstall it. Let's restart the computer again. That seems to be the solution to everything. I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. So we do not have internet connected, Wi-Fi is off, Ethernet is unplugged, everything focus rate is gone. It's plugged in, internet is unplugged, we're not connected on Wi-Fi. Let's try it again. I'm not even gonna do the full install, I'm only gonna do the USB driver, because it's not connected through Thunderbolt. Okay, let's restart the computer. Oh, look, now it worked. Okay, we are connected. So this is where I was able to get to last time, and there's no output routing, so we only have the input settings. If we click that, like that, it lights up the thing there. And if we push the button, it changes that. That's it. So they're directly connected, everything's working, everything's fine. And uh, even if I like pump up the, uh, the phantom power for the microphone there, you can see that it's picking up the microphone on the phantom power. We can even go to the settings, we can even change it. Let's make it pink. Okay, awesome. Look up, like everything's working, everything's fine, okay? So now, I'm gonna go to our sound settings. The, uh, the focus rate USB thing, so that's that's what's currently working right here. And that's our output source. And then our input. Okay, it's up. Why is the microphone not picking up anything? Like this right here is the bar. It's supposed to have like a little meter that comes up to say that there's audio happening and nothing's happening. Like device properties. Okay, let's start a test. So now we're starting a test. We're running a test right now and it's supposed to be picking up everything that the microphone is saying, which you can see right here that it's still picking up everything that's happening. So now we're gonna stop the test. 0%. It picked up nothing. It was a complete flat line. It's not picking up any audio input at all. But then if we go here, output devices, test. Look at that. Those are working. We have audio out. We clearly have audio in. Now this is where it gets weird. It's not working at all. Like it's not picking it up. And then we can open FL Studio and in the options we can go to audio settings and actually here i'm just going to show you in the corner here the input and as you can see none of these levels are picking up any of my voice or anything so nothing's set so we'll go to the audio settings and now we can just go down here we can just pick the focus rate usb now it's switched over so now for the input we can pick like input one and now it's picking up my voice suddenly so it, it even works here it just does not work independently on windows what the fuck like, what, 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 what? I don't even understand. And like the worst part is I have to do a voiceover and I'm using DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve relies on the default inputs for Windows. Okay, so let's import the intro. I don't want to change the resolution. Drag that over. Cool, we have everything. Let's go to Fairlight and let's add a new track. We can do mono or stereo. It's a stereo mic, so sure, let's do stereo. So now we can go to this uh, input right here and then over here, it says no input, so let's select an input you know, here, and now it's gonna be on audio to left and right channels. So what do we want? Well, we want left and right on the focus right. So now let's patch those together. Perfect. So now let's record on this track, and now let's record. And you can see that absolutely nothing is coming up, and it's completely flatlining the entire way across. So it's playing the audio through the headphones, but it's not picking up anything from the microphone, which is still picking up my voice while we're sitting here. Because this relies on, I'm literally not picking up anything in DaVinci Resolve because it's, really, you're gonna do that right now? So it's not picking up anything in DaVinci Resolve because it picks its audio from the default readings on Windows. And Windows is set to this, but for whatever reason, it's only outputting audio. It's not picking up the microphone, and I can't figure out why. It works in FL Studio, it doesn't in DaVinci Resolve, it doesn't in Windows. Their driver, whatever, software, garbage, is like so fucked. Nothing about that works. And then the best kick in the ass right now, we're gonna unplug this. And I'm gonna go to the settings, and I'm gonna go to sound settings, and now right here uh, we have the built-in speakers, then we have the Scarlett Solo USB. It just instantly recognizes it. No driver needed, didn't have to download anything, and then we can just add the phantom power to the microphone, and now it's picking up my voice, and oh my god, would you look at that, it's picking up my voice. Like here, let's crank the gain up a little bit. Oh my god, it's working!
Why? Why is this so easy? I, I plugged it in. It works. Perfect. No driver. Nothing. It just works. Oh my god. Like, all I'm trying to do is make some shitty fucking YouTube videos, and I run into goddamn garbage like this, like, 24-7, and it seems that every issue ends up being something proprietary to Windows. And now it is finally working. So, if anybody's curious as to how I got this working, after another hour of losing my goddamn mind, I figured since that software was so poor to try and uninstall, and there were just so many issues trying to install it, I was just trying to find the actual driver itself. Uh, so that way I could extract the driver and then install the driver. So like if I go to uh, Device Manager, and then in here, it's on Devices? So it'll be in here and then um, it comes up as Scarlet USB or something. It doesn't come up as Focusrite yet, so then you'd uh, right click, update driver, uh, browse my computer for drivers, and then you would pick the uh, directory where you've extracted the driver. However, that wasn't what I ended up doing. I just found this file. It's it's the same uh, driver number and everything, so it's still the newest one and everything's fine. It's, it's the one that it's supposed to use. Now, the thing with finding this was on their website. Okay, so if we go to focus right, so we just go right right to their website and then support, downloads, pick your product type, and then you go down here, and then you can just go all the way down. So the Scarlet Solo 3rd Gen Studio, so that's the one for me. So I picked this one, and then the only thing that we have here is uh, Focusrite Control 3.5.0. There's nothing else. We don't have any other options. But if I go to the regular one, Scarlet Solo, the first one, software, suddenly I only have the USB driver without the focus control. I can right click on this and I can try and open control there and uh, oh look focus right control is not currently installed perfect so it's not installed and everything is working fuck this shit and fucking like share subscribe do whatever I don't even give a fuck